Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have three teams for you for the Amnathrax faction event. So much other stuff going on, let's just get this stuff done. Some interesting teams though for you here. Nothing uh, too uh, meta, Some stuff you haven't seen too much. Uh, maybe one of them you've seen a lot, but we got the new troop here on this team, so you can't have seen this too too much but high level team mid level team low level team green and brown was the restriction so there's a lot of stuff you could do with those two colors you could just do the truffle shuffle if you want you could do rowan if you want you can do uh chalcedony if you want uh what else could you do defiance persistence etc so a lot of stuff there to choose from but this first team the high level team will go in high king iron gut uh ct Thrask, or whatever his name is, the new boss troop from the Soul Forge, and then we're going with um, the Leprechaun and the Wand of Stars. So, what I like to do with CT, that's what I call Thrask, um, is to put it with something else that can insta kill. And in, in this instance, it's kind of a High King Iron Gut with a supplementary CT. Uh, a lot of the times, I like to do CT with a supplementary instant kill, but this team's more of a High King Iron Gut team that just has CT on it as a supplementary instant kill that does the mana colors that we need, you know, brown, you know, stuff like that. So, High King Iron Gut, get it up, devour. Uh, CT's there just to get one of the last kills. Kind of like the Zulgoth High King Iron Gut team. Where you devour a couple times and then you cast Zulgoth to finish the enemy off. You don't really cast Zulgoth like three or four times. You only cast it like once or maybe twice. Same thing with CT. So you cast that Leprechaun. It usually will get up your High King Iron Gut or your Wand. You cast the High King Iron Gut whenever you have it. If you need a curse, you got a curse with the Wand. Um, you devour a couple times with High King Iron Gut. It usually gets up uh, Thrask by then. And then you can cast that. Hopefully it loops back into High King Iron Gut. You cast it again, you win. So it's a lot of devour with a supplementary instant kill that puts some nice colors on the board. And uh, you have all that cursing going on. CT curses, Wand can curse, and then the Leprechaun, the Empowered Exploder. Use whatever class you want to, but some sort of 50% um, start class that you need to level would be great. If you have every single class already to 100, then a brown storm, a green storm, uh, so probably brown storm would be the best. All right, here's the mid-level team. This is Faceless One's brown Guild Wars team. Or I don't even know if it's his Guild Wars team. It's just his brown team. I think he does use it for Guild Wars, though. Um, it is uh, Mountain Crusher, Queen of Ash, Shale, and King Heliodor. This one's a fun team. When it goes, it goes. Um, you get up that uh, Mountain Crusher. It's pretty easy because you got a lot of extra brown. Uh, you just match one brown and you get up Mountain Crusher. You cast Mountain Crusher. It gets everything else up. You then cast Queen Ash. She'll hit the second to last troop with splash damage. I think true splash damage, right? And then it pulls those to the front that you did damage to. And then you cast the King Heliodor. He hits the person in first slot. And usually that's enough to kill. This is like deeper battle. So if you see me struggling more than you think I would. Well, it's on like level 200 something at this point, And my horde level is only like 111. So you'll have a much easier time going through a Tuesday faction event where you're just going to level 90. For example, I lost my hero there. But this is the last battle of like a level 250 something. And that's not going to happen very often. We're using Titan class. You should have a barrier. But yeah, the main thing with this team is get up Mountain Crusher, cast it. Then cast Queen Ash and alternate between the, the Queen Ash and the King Heliodor. Since you're hitting that third slot and pulling it to the front, you then use King Heliodor, hit the first slot. All the while, every time you cast Queen Ash or King Heliodor, you're putting those elemental stars on the board, blowing them up, getting everything back up. If you need to, cast Shale, but only when Shale is the only thing that's up. If it's Shale and Mountain Crusher, maybe look for an extra turn with Shale. But if you have Queen, Ash, or King Heliodor, you cast them. Um, the only time you cast Shale is when neither one of those are up. But it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it, if you alternate the Queen, Ash, and the King Heliodor. Right, here's the low level team. Now I know if you're a low level player, you might not have this team. You might not have Lupine's Edge. It's okay. You could use Mountain Crusher. You could use Wand of Stars. Um, you could use Reflection of Good. Any expl explodey weapon would be fine. Or you could use the Rowan team. You got green and brown. You could do your very first ever Rowan team. You could do Golden Cog, Clockwork Sphinx, Rowan, and Leprechaun. It would work perfectly here. So no big deal if you don't have this team, but if you do, it's pretty fun. 
We got um, Todd Greenwood with the sports. Uh, times two, persistence, and Lupine's Edge. So Lupine's Edge makes a bunch of green and red based on Wargare allies. Our entire team is Wargare because we're using Spirit. Is it Spirit Walker or Spirit Talker or Spirit what? I don't know. I always get that one mixed up. That class. The Wargare class. Um, but double up on Todd. Loop with Todd just like a Chalcedony team or a Seeker team. It's the same thing. And then Persistence all the while is giving you extra stats with that third trait. Um, so t even Todd is going to hit harder every time he casts. What I like to do is wait until there's only one enemy left, and then I'll shoot Persistence. It'll double hit for a ton of damage, especially if the enemy is green. Could get a nice little Devour, too. If you have um, Wolf Garrick, you could also sub a Wolf Garrick for Persistence. It's kind of fun. Try that out. But yeah, that's it. Just get it done. We got too much stuff to do. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot to get about the channel comp below. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.